Believe it or not, there's a future where you go to a hospital, and a robot powered by artificial intelligence is there to help. This robot will ask for your name and ID to provide you with a medicine specifically designed for you. In the next 10 years, personalized medication might become a reality for everyone. Wondering how? Well, all our DNA data will be stored in massive computer servers. This information will be used to figure out the best medicine for each person. Nowadays, databases about biology can connect different diseases with genes and medicines. AI will use this knowledge to link a disease, your DNA, and a medicine, predicting the perfect treatment for each individual. Although full personalization might take a decade, but AI is already making strides in 2024. In the medicine news for 2024, there's a magazine called Nature Journals. They picked 11 important medical trials to keep an eye on, and three of them are using smart computers, which we call AI. In this video, we'll discuss these three trials and also a special one testing a vaccine for HIV. The first trial we're talking about is about a medicine called INS018-055 by Insilico Medicine. It's for people with a lung problem called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, IPF. INS018-055 from Insilico Medicine, aiming to be the first pan-fibrotic inhibitor, represents a significant step forward in AI-driven drug discovery. It has now entered Phase 2 clinical trials specifically for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, IPF. Developed using Insilica's Pharma AI platform, INS018-055 was pinpointed using the Panda Omics target discovery engine and fine-tuned by the Chemistry 42 generative AI chemistry engine. What's remarkable is that this entire process took a little over three years and cost only one-tenth of what a similar project without cutting-edge AI would have cost. This achievement showcases the effectiveness and efficiency of AI in drug discovery, cutting down both time and expenses. It brings newfound hope for those dealing with IPF, a condition with limited treatment choices and a high mortality rate. I believe this trial holds great importance as it's a rare example where both the target and the molecule were discovered using an AI system, highlighting the potential power of AI in this crucial medical field. Our second choice is a trail led by David Baldwin, a doctor working at Nottingham University Hospitals. In this research, they're using artificial intelligence AI, to examine chest x-rays and spot early signs of lung cancer. The AI programs are made to find small irregularities that could suggest cancer. If this method works well, it might make it faster to decide if someone needs more tests, like CT scans. This could speed up the process of finding out if someone has cancer early making it more likely for the treatment to be successful. Right now, they're conducting this study in six hospitals in the UK, and we'll learn about the results in 2024. Our third top clinical trial for 2024 is led by Stephen Meeks, who works as the head of clinical chemistry at Maastricht UMC+. He's using something called the RISKINDEX, which relies on artificial intelligence, AI, for emergency department triage. The RISKINDEX uses a smart computer model, AI, to look at a lot of information about a patient, such as test results from the lab, to predict the chances of the patient not making it through the next 31 days. This tool is designed to help doctors in emergency departments make better decisions by giving them a more accurate and data-based understanding of how risky a patient's situation might be. This could lead to quicker and more suitable care, possibly improving how well patients do in the end. Our bonus trial is all about the VIR-1388 vaccine, made to prevent HIV. It's currently in the first phase of testing to make sure it's safe, checking how the body reacts to it, and how well it triggers the immune system in healthy adults aged 18 to 55 who don't have HIV. This vaccine uses something called a cytomegalovirus, CMV, to make strong and long-lasting responses from a type of immune cell called T-cells. They want this new vaccine, VIR-1388, to do better than its earlier version, VIR 1111, which was safe but didn't boost the immune system as much. The trial is happening in the USA and South Africa, and big organizations like the US National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are supporting it. If it works well, it could make a big difference in public health against HIV. These accomplishments demonstrate how well AI works in discovering new drugs, emphasizing its significant potential in the important field of medicine.
This strengthens our argument that AI has the capability to create personalized medicine for each person in the next 10 years. Remember to check out our video discussing a scenario. Who would die first if the pandemic kills life on Earth in one month? We think that YouTubers, fashionistas and professional gamers may be the first one to die. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.